You heard it here first, Myron. Every single action or no fault no is a coach cap. No coach cap. I agree. Always. Last year on TSM, <laughs> it was uh, it was oh, yeah. players. Spaces, it was your space is poorly. Scoreboard. <laughs> you can't tell how bad it was, but we would so fast. Oh, did you see that? The Genji Poppy game. Who should not be the over wall? Bro, did you see this with the LPL stage one with Ghost? <laughs> did you see that guy? Oh. Complete psychopath. Level five. He ran straight bot lane. Popped ghost to lane gank, hit level oh, yeah. hit level six off the I cannon creep bot, ulted, got a double kill. I saw that. <laughs> that yeah. It was court lead. Oh. I hope this doesn't come on. There's no shot this was a good angle. This split I want to do something different with the huddles. In the huddles, we define the person that we dedicate this game to. And I want to start by this one. I want it to be to Jonas. And every game we'll find a different person to do it. Today we do it for Jonas. All right? For Jonas on three. So you guys, if we pay like it's for Jonas. Then it's for Jonas. You guys know what to do in the game to show some love to me. Right? Oh, yeah. Right? Okay, let's go. One, two, three, liquid! These are really, really big teams. And ultimately, I think that just speaks to what the expectation was of both of them in spring. I think they're both not necessarily struggling with the expectations, but we've put a lot of expectations on them because of what we know they can achieve. If you have that level of success, you're going to get humbled in the early portions of the split. We'll see if uh, TL has recovered from being humbled just last week. This is 100 Thieves versus Team Liquid. On Samba with control over the bottom side, also making sure nobody's approaching. That means TL gets this objective for free six minutes into the game. Down, it's gonna be stolen by a closer. They're oh, really oh, 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 good, oh, oh, good fight, good fight, good fight, good yeah, fight. Look, good on, fight. Look on. Being able to see the flaws in each other's play and, and still appreciate your teammates for the level they can play at is, is important for me. Even yourself, right? Like you need to be able to recognize what you're bad at so that when you're in a position of like, oh, f I f up, that it's not like a surprise to you. You're well aware of your flaws and you're well aware of the situation you put yourself in. This is me underperforming. How can I get out of that? But look for yeah, fight, 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 yeah. fight, fight. No flash on no, no flash on yeah, Ophelios, okay? No on. flash on Ophelios. Let's go, go, go. In, in, in. Get play for fight, play for fight. fight. This is still a good fight, still a good fight. Yeah, yeah look, we're going to We'll call flash in, we'll call flash in. I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm actually dead too. 100 thieves find a massive Baron into a fight. Look, okay, boss. I'm one health. I can't. Oh, I'm dead. They can't do uh, No, no, we can fight them. I'm dead, okay. The, the orn? Oh, shit. Obviously, it's frustrating to lose. All right, we f***ed up. What do we do? What are the learnings? How are we going to improve on this? Team Liquid collapse again. We have no <laughs> kills at 25 minutes. Nexus at 32. Let's try, guys. Oh, well. Let's focus on tomorrow. So for me, what's really important is that we can laugh about it as a team. You know, we all made misplays. Yeah, in the end, if you lose, it's very rare that it's, you know, one person playing poorly. When I sit down and review the game, like at first, it's important that we talk about all the important things, but, you know, being able to laugh about, oh my God, you know, that was such a stupid play. Why did I do that? Or that was ridiculous. Like being able to see the flaws in each other's play and, and still appreciate your teammates for the level they can play at is, is important for me. You know, I, I don't want to be in a position where I can only appreciate the good. I want to appreciate the bad too. And, uh, if you only look at the good, then whenever things go bad, you're just not, you know, you're just like, what the f happened? <laughs> Appreciating my team when we lose is something that I find very important because you're gonna lose at some point. I just wanna be able to be in a team where if I look at my team being shit, we're losing all the time, it's a mess. I can still look at that team and still be like, you know what, I don't mind. We're gonna figure this out. I think it goes beyond winning and losing even. I think just taking a step back and having perspective about, you know, the position that we're in is enough, you know. Being able to go to Korea, being able to, you know, go on stage, being able to, you know, last split it was Houston, this split will be Chicago, and then all, all the experiences I had at Worlds last year and hopefully this year too, it's super cool. Many years ago, none of us would have ever imagined all the opportunities that we'd get to travel and just hang out with people who are like-minded um, playing a video game.
it's important to work hard and you know try our best every day to make sure we can get the results that we all think we deserve. But it's also important to understand that sometimes you're gonna have off days and still being able to you know make light of the situation, have fun because it's not the end of the world to lose. Guys, guys, we should yeah, be happy yeah, to fight. Yeah, yeah. 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 okay. Hey, Kelly, yeah, see it. Turrets fall. Team Liquid take the win. Five and two. Team Liquid in second place. Nice. Did you? Blood. Blood. We handshake the chairs or what? Yeah, I think so. You know, that's like a two-week break between LCS games. Even though we didn't take any extra days off, I feel like we learned a lot. It's just nice having more time to prepare and kind of really double down on the issue. First up, we were deviating a little bit too much from the direction we wanted the team to go in. So we used the week off to take a step back and really look at how are we actually expressing ourselves in the game and with either how we draft or play. Other than that, the guys had a couple of content days. You know, the sponsors, we need to make sure they're happy. So uh, always a good time. I love pasta. Give me some pasta. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough. You give me beer? <laughs> yeah, I'm so bad. <laughs> no, that was perfect. You kite oh, without yeah. watching the screen or not? Can I draft? Can I coach? I think when you have a, a week off like that, it can be good or bad depending on how you use it. You can practice too much and, and not have the matches and it kind of feels like you're just practicing without having like an outlet or a way to test yourself or you can relax a little bit too much and it's a delicate balance but I'm happy with, uh, with what I did. And else, yeah, preparation for this week, uh, playing Golden Guardians and uh, EG. And especially the EG match, I think, is a match that we really, really look forward to because it's a good test for us to see what kind of level we are at. EG is uh, one of those teams that I think uh, got stronger since the first time we met them in Lockin. I think they are, they are getting stronger, more confident. I think they have got more experience too, which is nice because when you see a strong team like that, you uh, you could become stronger too. Uh, because in the end, the goal is very clear. We want to be able to beat every team in the league. So it's a good like mid-season test for us to see where we stand. Going into GG, we had a very specific plan and it was about disrupting their play. We really wanted to attack them in the first minutes of the game and I think Lucas did a really, really good job in, in, in finding angles to attack their mid laner. Looks pretty good. Thank you. I, I, yeah, I wish okay. We need one more minute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I'll e shot trade. Good, safe. good job. Nice yeah. trade. The game just kind of broke completely from them uh, at the Herald sequence when we had bot lane first move and they opted into a fight because they thought they thought the, the volley barrel Lucas was, was inting in the river, but actually he was just baiting them to, to fight him, so we would just wipe them for, for, for zero. We should fight! We should yeah, fight! 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 I'm caught a bit? Yeah, I'm flat. Yeah, yeah, this is really good fight, really good angle, really good angle. Go, 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 go! We have f***ing killed them both! Oh my god, they're f***ing... Let's go! Oh my god, he's flashed, he's flashed! Oh, good flash, bro. Well, the game against Golden Guardians, it went really well. I think all we planned in the early game to the mid game was kind of clean. Felt very, very good the first 20 minutes of the game. Up until there was a stupid ass volley bear just walking up and dying. That was, that was me. Uh, I was the idiot. We killed both the inhibitors as one inhibitor, but I don't know how I ended up there, but I randomly died. And that's when the chain end began. Hansama jumping in a little bit unnecessarily aggressively when we could kind of just kill the Nexus. We had a misplay team fight. We also, I didn't keep track of my mana, so we were pushing the base, and my mana was too low to really continue. We probably should have based. Maybe we got a little bit too comfortable, a little bit too relaxed with the lead that we had. It sometimes happens where you're so far ahead that anything you do feels like it will be good. Like, no matter what, like you'll just win the team fight, you'll just win the situation, whatever it might be. Sometimes that happens. It's important for us to keep our heads in the game until the next falls. I think we've all been there. I've been there too in the solo key games. You play, you're 
so far ahead and then you think to yourself, oh, the game is won, but then you start struggling a little bit and then you need to find your footing. Golden Guardians know they gotta be able to fight here. Licorice about to die. Stick State trying to kite around. Licorice is down. Oh, oh my god! Nearly grabbing one, but it ain't gonna happen. They take out the enemy 80 carry. They gotta go, they gotta go. Nexus is low. No, I'm nice. Like, I don't care, I don't care. W? Yeah. Nice, nice good job, <laughs> Holy shit, oh, guys. Oh, my god. Up. Uh, I think it's good. It's okay. It's like a bittersweet way of winning the game because it's like we should just have straight up clean smash them in 25 minutes. And I know if I didn't make that one mistake, we would have. So I, I take a lot of blame for it. But obviously, like, you know, I was not the only individual that was kind of trolling in that sequ sequence. We move on and take the good things that really showed off in the early game and bring them again uh, today against EG. We got TL and EG going head to head. Come one, come all to the LCS where we have rank one EG versus rank two Team Liquid. Expectations today for the EG match is basically to see where we stand up against them. We haven't practiced against them for almost three weeks, I think. So both teams are going in pretty, pretty dry, like don't really know what to expect. But uh, for us, the most important thing today against EG is just showing that the things we work in and work on in practice actually shows in, in, in stage. And a lot of that will be showcased in the early game. Let's go Liquid! How we are willing to be aggressive and be proactive and uh, whenever they give us opportunities that we can really capitalize on, we take them. I expect the game to be scrappy and I expect both teams to come out swinging. Inspired's ready to go now. There comes the flash of the AJ, but it won't work, and it's first blood over to Danny. Okay, oh, JoJo just gets exploded. Team Liquid ties it up. A lot of things that we had practiced in scrims, we did on stage, which was nice. You know, like, we've been working on Herald sequences a lot, like how to get the Herald, and you know, that was smooth. Viego's no flash though. I'm okay. gonna move. Yeah, we just flash on Viego. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. Nice, that's good. They will have tempo after that. I would say we were in the driving seat in the early game. I think we've been playing well in the early game as a team. They come in, they've got this early game plan. Yeah, things are going well for Team Liquid so far. 2,000 gold up, two Drakes up. Still though, uh, for EG, they can always tell themselves, hey, we are scaling. We've got the Ezreal approaching two items, one of the biggest power spikes you can have, as well as a Yumi, which scales all the way till the end of the game. Is that yeah, no, 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 this looks bad. This looks bad. This looks bad. Oh, maybe I ain't it. That's all good. It's okay. I like the look. I feel like we were very tunneled on how we were playing individually. And then going into team fights, we were straight out just getting outplayed. I think we still had a lot of good moments in the game that I'm proud of, and I think we played well, but EG just played better. They just uh, found better fights, better opportunities. I to take is like, obviously, especially when it came to, to fight situations, we have played better, but we did a lot, or different from the other two losses, we did a lot of the things that we worked in practice. And that's what we had a good herald sequence. Yeah, we had a good herald sequence. We had some good super swap sequences, and then on fights they we kind of fucked up one of the super swaps. But one of the super swaps. <laughs> one of them we did. was good, but it's like, but it was one. called. It was called, and it was thought about. I yeah. felt that I felt that there were routines in the game, so that's how we still need to keep uh, taking practice because we are able to to pull them on stage. Then the other things that stopped us from winning today, obviously we need to improve on. But I don't want people to to get a. I want people to get a different feeling from the other two losses. In the end, you remember the times you lost more than the times you won. So being able to enjoy that together with your teammates uh, is important because you're always going to lose. You know, like it's a competition. Like today, like I'm not phased, you know. Yeah, I don't think whether you win or lose in regular season matters too much. It's more about how you win and how you lose and how much you take from it. I genuinely don't care too much about regular season. Like, I'd way prefer having this feeling now of feeling really, really bad, and then going into playoffs and feel like we learn from our mistakes and we learn from the losses, and going into playoffs we feel confident that we can beat them now and we do beat them. You know, it's nice to have like this kind of wake-up call once in a while where it's like, hey, you guys still suck a lot of this, or like, hey, you gotta improve on this, or whatever it might be. Every loss will make you stronger. It's always like, loses improve. You know, we lost today against EG. There were things that we worked on in the week that we started showing on stage and that I'm really, really happy about. So yeah, I'm not really too worried about the other teams. I think EG is definitely the most solid team, but mostly just focusing on ourselves and what we can learn.
I think mostly out of our team I want to see a bit more consistency. Like I think sometimes we go on stage and we're just not performing the same way that we are in scrims at an individual level mostly. We have really high highs where we just like crush teams and then we have games where it feels like we are just kind of falling over. So finding more consistency and then really getting the same vision about what kind of play style or drafts we feel like is the best for our team and, and the best way for us to win games. And then feeling like we're ready to beat everyone. And th that's the only feeling I care about. No matter what, I just want to be prepared for playoffs and I'll, I want to win. In the end, nobody will care about regular season. For example, in Springs, but we were first in regular season, we went third. That's all people will remember. Actually, they might not even remember we were there because they only remember the winner. And I want to be like remembered as the winner.